those. Wow, where the hell did that light come from? Oof. Alright, enough of that. Oop. Back to work. Zug zug. There we are. Now where the hell do I zone here again? Hell if I know. I'm just gonna leave that blanked. I'll figure out something later, I'm sure. But I probably am going to be needing to draw all these damnable roads that I don't actually have the money to draw. Damn it. Uh oh, what? Worker shortage. I'm zoning. God damn it. If I had more money, this wouldn't be a freaking problem. But yeah, we've got a fair amount of medium wealth. <clears throat> I've always been finding myself having never enough medium wealth in my city. So, this time I think I'm going through my paces just to make sure that I have enough medium wealth. Oh dear, it looks like we'll need a new water tower too in a moment. Huh? 8.8 .8 kilogallon an hour access. Alright. I hope so. I'll trust it, but I don't have to like it. Actually, rather than extending the avenues like a moron, let's just continue doing this. I think I'm a little more level-headed now. Before I was a little bit on the mad side, and I really do apologize. The, um... <laughs> whole server was just eating my city. It was starting to get to me. Whoops. I did not properly finish that road. And I'm just a little more level-headed now. I just finished playing around a Vampire the Masquerade with, my, with uh, the CK2 multiplayer group. For those of you who don't know, that's actually a tabletop RPG. So, yes, we're gigantic nerds. Suck it. Speaking of... Connect the road guide. Thank you. Not enough medium wealth shoppers. God, I can never please everybody. Do my best, but it's always so hard. What, do I have to get down on all fours? Jeez. Damn. What? Okay, is this straight? It's hard, <laughs> making an intersection, or making this avenue a little too long for me to tell. Ah, I see it's kind of being forced into straightness with that road. It worries the crap out of me. Because that's going to move everything else over slightly if I do that, I feel. Here's hoping it doesn't, but oh well. Nothing I can really do. But yeah, I've got a plan that's basically going to be having streetcars going along these. So if I have streetcars going along... Uh oh no, that's not where I want to put it. That is not where I want to put a street. If I have streetcars going along all these avenues over to this uh, industrial district here, where all the factories will be, then maybe it'll work? Okay, we don't put anything there. Zone bunch of commercial. And more residential. And commercial. In this area, I'm going to make for poor people. So, large field with parking. Drown in the wave of happiness. There. That should do it. As a whole, we should see a lot more people moving in. Hmm. Alright. 
Just doing a double check, eh? Gotta make sure. Because I question that sometimes. They're injured Sims, blah, blah, blah. I don't have a clinic. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not getting a clinic. And that's basically what it amounts to. Yeah, I need a city hall. But for that, we need more people to move in. Kind of hoping they will eventually. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we just have no choice but to wait for this to all fill up. Hmm, I, I'm liking this pattern, though. It seems to be working. At least so far. Could extend it and start. Yeah, expanding the factory count. Since we still seem to have some demand for industrial, I really feel like the demand is kind of screwed and oh, didn't, did not did not connect properly. I really feel like the demand is kind of screwy in this game. Um. In the SimCity, because I get a lot of... I, I get demand... More demand for industrial when I have A, enough freight, and B, too many jobs available for people. And yet I still get, you know, a large demand for industry. Which, to me, makes no sense. But at the same time, I don't think I've ever had, you know, any demand for commercial ever for anything. Maybe I'm always just zoning too much commercial, and that's why. I don't know. But yeah, we're starting to get a lot of people moving in, which is good. And hey, we're able to upgrade this now. So, if I can put anything down, what would it be? Utilities, transportation, tourism, safety, finance, or education. Well, I could start education early, that's for certain. Um... Based on the amount of money I'm making, I really considering the Department of Safety, but or utilities. Yeah, we'll go with uh, that for now. And fifteen thousand residents, we can upgrade again. Yeah, all right. Water, waste, and sewage services, lovely. So, how's this all going? People are getting happier, and we'll probably soon increase in density, I hope. I think in order to make medium wealth increase in density, I actually need a school, though. I don't know about poor people. What now? Why are you flashing? We'll see. Um, I'm also going to need to upgrade streets for that, but first let's get schooling down. No schools. Yep. You're right, there's no schools. I agree, that needs to be... something needs to be done about that. Um, we're gonna need a lot of buses, I think. I don't know how many sims we're gonna be educating, but... Okay, great. I placed it against that road. I'll do it. I need to place it here. I feel like I'm just jerking around their emotions at this point. What the hell? I thought it was because I placed it too close to the road and I still can't? The hell is this bullshit? Yeah, no school bus stops, I know. Oh, wait, I haven't even done anything here because I stopped because of the water tower. When well, I can just do this. I'll worry about the water tower later when I move the water tower. It's not going to stay there forever. Spoiler alert. That's definitely going to have to be moved. Um, remove that and rezone to commercial. Perfect. 
And we always shops pretty well spread out everywhere. We need them now. Alright, well, now we can get to those school bus stops. Schooling is good. So we'll start, I guess, just down here in the corner and move across. Seems like the reasonable thing to do. It seems like one school bus stop on every street should be okay. And should definitely do enough for happiness. Come on. Sometimes it doesn't place when I click. No idea why. And we're just getting happiness everywhere, and these things cost what? Only ten bucks an hour, yeah. Not much. Okay, I don't think we need a school bus stop in front of the school, but... No child left behind. I'm playing on the Antarctica server, so all my achievements have also been reset. There's a certain novelty, I guess, to playing on the Antarctica server, which is why I'm doing it. Okay. Almost there. Gotta place all the school stops, though. People are definitely getting happier, and we'll probably soon need upgraded roads. Come on. Last set. And done. Now everyone has complete school coverage. Alright. Perfect. How much are the extra classrooms? 10,000 apiece? I'll take them. And next hour... Because, you know what, there's no harm to having too much school capacity. It's probably... Oh, no, wait, I still could probably stand to place more buses, though. That'll be okay. There's 868 students. 876, 880. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. <laughs> um... Hmm... 9,000, yeah. Damn, okay. Capacity's only 550, so... I'm really sorry, that bell ringing is getting annoying even in my own head, so I imagine it's been hell for you guys. Ugh, 902. Um... And now the bus is going out, so... 750, and then 950, if on the next hour. He was hoping that, you know, the buses don't collect that many people that quick. I really hope they don't. Just need to make it to the next hour without the school filling up. And then we can teach them all, because a full, full grade school is 950, and we have 938 students. I mean, don't get me wrong, we're cutting it close, but... Huh, see? 950. I'm probably going to need more schooling, though. Alright. Let's see, let's see, let's see. First day of school, going well, perfect. There's currently a small fire. Yeah, I agree, that's a bit of a problem. But without a Department of Safety... Oh, and without money. That's kind of also a problem. That raises medium wealth land value. That could be useful. We'll uh, consider that later. But I suppose, yeah, the first thing I need to build is definitely a uh, fire station. Preferably before entire blocks start burning down. How much are these? 15? Shit, 20. Damn. Alright. Alright, everything's fine. We'll, we'll be okay. Yeah, about that. Huh? Oh yeah, I can now place this. I'll put that down later, I'm sure. Probably won't, but... <laughs> you know, I, I can say I will. And you guys will believe me. Yeah, there's a uh, fire burning out of control. Can't do anything about it until the next tax run, though. 
city's first apartment buildings, packing in even more poor sims into the city. The uh, avenues are actually medium wealth, so they can do that. There we go. Fires. Fires, baby. Yep, yeah, there's a fire. Alright, well, we're getting the first apartment building somewhere. I have no idea where, but... Huh. At any rate. That does mean that these houses are about going to be ready soon, I think. Townhouses. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, we're, we're starting to upgrade. That inevitably means I'm going to need to start using the road tool to upgrade. No access to region. Yeah. I think the game is broken on that. I'm not entirely sure, but that's pretty broken. I noticed, like, this gap in the road right here, and I think that's to blame, but I can't... I don't think I can fix it. Well, I can if I do this. Was that road just thinking about being on fire? I think it was. Well, either way, that fixes the problem, I suppose. Stupid roads being on fire. I need to upgrade to medium density streets. I don't need high density quite yet, thankfully, but... Actually, I should probably focus on this area, because it's been around longer. It's going to be more ready to upgrade. And, yeah, because I uh, was more prepared with um, medium wealth, rather than simply making a poor shithole, my RC, uh, RCI demands are under. Never mind, I lie. No matter what I do, I can never keep up with demand for medium wealth. I have no idea how. This isn't how capitalism works. The middle class is never this big. <laughs> Everyone's either poor or... Well, no. Everyone's just plain poor. That's how it works. Ugh. Electrical short my ass. Well, at least everyone's gotten some level of education. Most of the students are enrolled, which is good. Yeah, we don't have enough fire trucks. And we probably won't for a really long time, I'm afraid. I need 15,000 re residents to even consider a Department of Safety, but I'm going to probably go for the Department of Education instead. Seems like a better idea. At least to me. Yeah, damn, they aren't. Well, I wonder why a lot of the people aren't upgrading. Hmm. Maybe the mayor's house could come in handy here. help this wave area, and hopefully now we should see these start to upgrade real quick. Well, these are upgrading to medium wealth, that's good. We're almost there. Moving on up. Yep. I think that should be enough for them to consider upgrading. I'm hoping. Maybe if they go, maybe if their children go to school, they'll be happier. So another day, and maybe they'll upgrade. Yeah, we got injured Sims, and we need a clinic. Clinics are again good for medium wealth, so should probably drop it there. Uh, 
All right, so hopefully that'll help. But yeah, we're getting our first medium wealth apartment complexes, which is great. And we got some probably, yeah. Uh... Did I get that? There we go. And boom. Problem solved, right? Oh no, apparently we have another abandoned. Nope, nope, he lies. Alright, done. He's on a little commercial there. Yeah, fire department's getting its, uh, getting its, definitely earning its paycheck, that's for sure. A lot of good work they have to do. But yeah, we got a lot of roads to upgrade if we want to make everyone upgrade a density. I'm certain the people around the school definitely will be wanting to upgrade soon. Well, school technically counts as a street break. Well, that one got upgraded to high density. It's not necessarily a bad thing, I suppose, but whatever. And now everyone will be able to upgrade to medium density. Which, for now, will suffice. We've gotten some traffic here, which is understandable. Oh, Lord. Okay. You need to become a medium density street. You need a medium density street. You need a medium density street. Yeah, we're getting a bit of traffic backing up here. Got fired. I'm going to make the donuts. <laughs> yeah. Friggin' ambulance is getting caught in traffic. I think I may need to improve the density of some of these avenues. Incredibly expensive, but hopefully worth it. Yeah, that should be good. Fair number of higher density avenues, and we should be getting somewhere. I hope. I do hope. Let's see. I've never checked, but well, you might, might as well upgrade you. Make that road uniform. Darn, I was kind of hoping the factories would be about ready to upgrade now, too. How's the clinic holding up, anyway? It's treating as many as it can. That's okay, I guess. Probably going to be over capacity soon. Yeah, we're up to 10,500 people. I was kind of hoping these people would be upgrading, but they're not. Just trying to figure out why and how can I fix that. Hmm. <laughs> Could get police coverage. Nah, that probably won't help. My favorite mayor. Lovely. Oof. Yeah, 13 deaths per day. Okay. Okay, we A, need more ambulances. And B, totally need to improve the waiting room. Oh, not enough simoleons. God damn it. How much is an ambulance? 10 grand. Ugh. God damn it. Oh well. <laughs> At least now we can treat all 25 people. That's probably good. Let's see. There's 29 injuries and sicknesses combined today. Hopefully that's enough then. But second ambulance to help. The first establishing the first region in the city is the hardest because if you have extra coverage, then you know there'll be you'll be able to help other cities that you build. But the first city is kind of on its own. And still a huge demand for medium wealth. There's absolutely nothing I can do about it. 
Because these people won't upgrade density. Oh god, right. Waste disposal. That might be something I should consider as well. Ugh. Right. I hate that. Hang on here. Let's see if I extend the avenue slightly. That's more what I want, I think. Something. I don't know. Uh, where do I want to put this is a good question, though. Because no matter where I'm going to put it, it's going to break something. It's going to break the pattern. So I might as well break the pattern here at the end, where there's, in theory, going to be the, the least amount of traffic. No, 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 no. Don't, no. Don't bulldoze that, please. Thank you. Also, while we're at it, we're going to need additional garbage trucks. How much? Wait, that was pretty cheap, actually, wasn't it? Yeah, only five grand. All right. There. So, additional garbage trucks. And we'll get some incinerators. Looks good. Steady flow of water. Speaking of which, how are we doing on that? Six kilogallons an hour ac excess? Okay. I think we're done for this episode, where we have started to get medium density. We're back, getting right back on track, and I'm seeing some things start to upgrade slowly, which is good. I'd really like it if things upgrade a little faster, but what you gonna do? At least it's working. That's the best. You need to be upgraded, good sir. There. Medium wealth. Biggering in their factories. Okay. Well, thank you everyone for watching. As always, this has been Kelvin. You're not even cooking in a factory. The fuck? Is this like a microwave fire? No way. What, 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 what the hell? You're, 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 you don't even have workers. You're not even open. What the hell? God damn. Whatever. Thank you everyone for watching. As always, this is Galvin, signing off.